Hey everybody, it is AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you some tips and tricks on using iMessage in macOS. iMessage is a massive part of the Apple ecosystem and it's gotten better and better over the years. There are a lot of tutorials out there on how to maximize iMessage on the iPhone, but not as many on using iMessage on macOS, which is why I've made this video today. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and if you're on a supercharged way as your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. That being said, let's get into this. So the first thing I want to teach you is how to create a new group message in iMessage. You can see here we're in the new message option or it's the little pen and pad in the top left hand corner. And I'm just going to type in a few contacts. We both have iPhones, so they're going to show us blue. And I'm just going to say, hey everyone. And you can see here we've actually just sent that first message and it's at the top of our carousel. What we're going to do is actually, while we're in this messaging thread, in the top left hand corner, we have the little FaceTime option where we can make a group call. Or if we press the little icon, the I button, we can actually scroll down and it shows us the option of call, video or mail the group. We can add a few new members or we can actually change the group name and photo. If I select change the group name and photo, I'm going to call this homies. And then we can actually suggest an icon for the group. You can see the different colors. You can put an emoji so we could make it the beach and that can be the photo that everybody sees or you can actually select on your photos icon and this is going to show you your camera roll and you can search for people places and um, just regular photos or you could put your own photo as the icon I could just put a photo of us at the beach here it's going to download from iCloud and then that would actually be the photo that we all see in that group and then of course you can scroll down you have a few options of changing a few preset, uh, I guess, colors to that photo. When you're happy with it, you hit done. And now, instead of just having our names there, we've got it and it's called homies. What I wanna do next though, is uh, instead of having to scroll and search for homies all the time, if this is a group you use quite a bit, you can actually pin it to the top of your iMessage. So you can see here, I have Ashley and my brother Sam pinned to the top. I can right click on that conversation and I can choose to pin open the conversation in a separate window or delete it. If I select on pin, you're gonna see that conversation is actually brought to the top of my iMessage. So now I have Ash, Sam, and our homies. If I wanted to open this chat in a brand new window, I could actually right click on it, scroll down to where it says open conversation in a separate window. And instead of having it in iMessage with the rest of my columns on the left-hand side or the conversations on the left-hand side, we actually now have a big uh, pane where it says homies. Um, of course, from here you can use a few of the effects. So if you say something like happy birthday, the other person's gonna get the effects and you can see the balloons have just appeared when we say happy birthday or something like congratulations. And these are pre-built into iMessage where it just has a celebration for you and it looks really good on the big screen. Um, if you wanted to add your own effects to a, a message though, you could say, who's ready for the weekend? On the left-hand side where you're typing in your text, you actually have the little app icon and here you can actually choose to drop in photos, um, emoji stickers, GIFs, or you can actually get message effects. And this is where you can actually see before you send it, a few different message effects. So you could choose to use the balloons, you could choose to send it with confetti, or for this one, I'm gonna to choose to send it with the echo. And that's just gonna cover their whole screen um, with that message for a second. Then when I'm ready, I'm gonna hit enter. And that message is gonna get sent. And it's really impactful seeing it on the screen here. Of course, if we go back into that same column or that same app drawer on the left-hand side, we could choose to go photos. And this is connected to our iCloud and our Photos app, where you can simply scroll through without having to leave iMessage and send photos that you've taken. It could be one here of a run we did on the weekend. Again, it's gonna download if it's not downloaded, and hit enter, and you can send that photo of a run that we did on the weekend. You could go back on that app drawer, and you can choose to send GIFs, just like you would on your phone. So you could say we are looking for, hey, actually, let's go Pokemon. Let's go search. And you could send a, a GIF of Squirtle here straight from your message. 
Um, of course, when you are in a group message, you may wanna be able to tag people as well because right now there's only two people in this message, but if you had multiple people, you might wanna tag people when they are getting notified. To do this, you simply wanna type the person's name the same way it's, caught, it's typed in your contact list. Scroll over their name for a second, and then you get their contact card. Simply select it. Their name's gonna appear in blue. How are you? And then you're gonna get a tag or a notification when someone's tagged you or when you're tagging someone in that group message. Um, so this is great. So even if they've put the, the group on mute, they'll still get a notification if they get tagged. If you wanna do a quick reply to this message, you can scroll over it and you can do a right click. And then you have a few options here. Tap back is like when you're on your iPhone when you press and hold for a couple of seconds. You could put a love heart or a thumb or a thumbs down or a, a ha ha. Or you could right click on it. You could go reply. And then you could say, I'm great. How are you? And then what you'll see here is that it actually becomes a thread. So on the left hand side, because the, the screen is really big here, you can actually see there's a little loop saying that was a reply to that message there. This is really good for when you have a group chat and you're getting multiple messages. You can actually just go to one that's further up, right click, maybe the one of a photo, you know, right click here, and then we can go reply and say, looks like a great day. In that way, people know that you're replying directly to them and it's really great to make sure that messages don't get missed. On the right hand side, you have this little wave icon just like you do on your iPhone and this allows you to make a voice message and send it in that text, uh, send it in that iMessage. So if we press on that, it's gonna start recording and then once we're happy and we've said our message, we can simply hit stop. You can play it back on the left hand side or you can just send that straight through iMessage. And then of course, on the right hand side of that wave, you have your emojis. So if you're writing something out, you can simply select on your emojis and then add in whatever emoji you wanna add in. Pretty cool, right? Um, of course, if you wanna add more people to this thread on the top right hand corner, you have the little eye icon. And this is the option we're in before where we can choose to add members, or you can send your current location or you can share your device location. So you could be at a cafe and you want them to come and meet you. Instead of having to grab your phone out because your phone may be in your pocket, you simply go on the I and then you just go send my current location and they'll know exactly where you are. No need to grab your iPhone. So it's really cool. And of course, if you guys like these tips, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you wanted to delete a message, say you accidentally sent something by by accident or wasn't ready, you can right click on it like I'm gonna right click on the voice message here. Then I can scroll down and I can actually go delete. It's gonna give me a warning saying, are you sure you wanna delete this message? You cannot undo it. And then I'm simply gonna say delete and that's gonna delete the message for everybody. If you wanted to see the time a message was sent, you can simply right click on that message. I'm gonna right click on Squirtle here, then scroll down and I can actually go show times and that's gonna show me all the times that these messages were sent. So this is good to know if there's a really long message thread. Um, you can right click and see how long ago somebody had sent the message. Um, it's just good to be able to keep track of that if you need to. So there's some really cool things about using uh, iMessage on your Mac OS. Of course, I'm just gonna X out of this for a second. We're gonna go back to our full iMessage um, screen instead of just being in that one message thread. You can see at the top here, we still have the group. If I wanted to unpin this group, I can simply right click on it and I can go unpin. It's gonna pull it down and it's gonna drop it back into um, the carousel of all our messages. And if you no longer want to be part of this group, it might've been a study group that you were working in and you don't wanna be there anymore or you're getting too many notifications. You can right click on this group and you can actually go delete conversation. And this is going to delete you from this group. Or if you wanted to, pause it because you're getting too many conversations from these, but you don't want to actually delete it, you can actually just go hide alerts. And then you can see there's a little bell icon with a slash through it saying you're not gonna get any alerts from this group. The only one that you do get, of course, is gonna be if somebody tags you. So there you have it. There are some of my quick tips and tricks on using iMessage on Mac OS. 
Hope you guys learned something from this video. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And of course, if you want to supercharge ways your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.